30 seconds, someone loses a foot or a limb as a direct result of a chronic wound. Now I'm talking to you for about three minutes, so that's six people undergoing amputations. And of those six, three will be dead in five years. This is John. He's 58, overweight, and a type 2 diabetic. And while playing on the beach with his grandkids, he cut his toe and didn't feel it. So it became infected and subsequently chronic. Now for my PhD, I'm developing a diagnostic test that would actually give John the best chance of going on to heal that wound and avoid becoming a statistic. A chronic wound is an injury to the skin that doesn't heal properly. They're difficult to treat, last a minimum of three months, and are often the result of underlying conditions such as type 2 diabetes, where not only do you get a failure in the normal healing processes, but also nerve damage, so you can injure yourself and not even notice. Chronic wounds are typically very painful and also very smelly and embarrassing for the people who suffer these. So they withdraw from the outside world. They lose productivity and mobility and can actually suffer severe psychological trauma as a result of their chronic wound. There are hundreds of millions of people suffering from a chronic wound in the world today. And they cost the Australian economy $2.6 billion a year alone. Now this number is set to explode. And not only does the population age, but also type 2 diabetes is becoming a disturbing epidemic in developing countries and indigenous communities. There are currently no effective diagnostic treatment and tests available on the market today. So all a doctor or a nurse can do is apply a bandage for six weeks onto the wound and then see how it responds. Whether it goes smaller and starts to heal, whether it stays the same, or whether it fails and continues to get larger. Eventually, as successive treatments fail, amputation is the only option left. Now my diagnostic actually looks at the environment within the chronic wound itself and reports back almost immediately as to what's going on inside. Now to do this, you can think of chronic wound fluid a bit like a vegetable soup. It's thick and complex with hundreds of different biomarkers and proteins of various sizes and amount. And we know from research that these biomarkers are actually higher or lower in chronic wounds compared to healing wounds. My diagnostic actually seeks out these biomarkers and catches them and then gives a yes no response. Now this is technology we're already familiar with. It's in your pregnancy test, your urine drug test. My test will be easy to use, simple to interpret and cheap. So not only can the community nurse out back use it, but also the patient himself. So they can monitor their own progress. What does this mean? Tailoring treatment programs for each individual patient and their unique wound. Maximizing healing rates and ensuring people like John go on to live full and happy lives. <coughs>